can see some part of the board I have dropped. What I have left is the content in the technology and this diagram. This is a diagrammatic representation, though I have dropped out this first if you remember. This is the origin of replication, this is the selectable marker region, this is the restriction inside the particle coding site, and I am studying vectors. So, what is my basic idea now? These three are requirements, I know that, in cloning vectors. So, what is the difference that we find for expression vector? In the case of expression vector, we expect not only to make copies, not only to make clones of these cells, but we, of the gene of interest, but we want it to be able to be expressed in the host cell. So that I can make use of those expressions. So there are basic purposes, you can say protein purification purpose, you can use it or localize the protein in the cell that also and geneticists use it to make negative uh, dominant proteins. So there are various purposes, it can be to use to purify protein, to localize protein, to express the gene and produce protein synthesis and Geneticists use it to prepare negative dominant protein. So there are various purposes we can take from there. And now that I have, I know these three are basic requirements. These will be there. But in expression vector, some other mechanism is also required. What is that mechanism? Let me rub some of the parts so that I can write some more parts into it. Because I said that cloning vectors need this. What I wrote earlier, in my earlier videos, follow it, if you have not watched it, watch it and then come to this video. That yes, for cloning, we need those, original replication, restriction enzyme, endonucleus producing multiple cloning site and selectable marker region, where adiabatic distance gene can be carried. Now the point, what extra things are required? The extra things that are required are a promoter will be required. Because we know, we want that gene of interest to be not only copied, we want it to make copies in the host cell. In host cell it can be bacteria, it can be yeast, it can be a mammalian cell. So wherever it is, it must be able to express. So to express for uh, expression vectors, first point other than these three, that is origin of replication, multiple cloning site, antibiotic resistance gene, whether it is anticidine or whatever and other than that, other than these three, we need a promoter region. Promoters will be able to help us, The we know that in the promoter region, it is at this region, the initiation of the transcription can take place. So, a promoter is the binding place, without that, the transcription cannot start only. Naturally, there should be a transcription start site. Say the promoter region is over here. This is the selectable marker region and this is the promoter region where I will be able to, this is the marker region and this is the promoter region. An inducible promoter which is controlling the expression of the gene of our interest. So, inducible mark promoter is required. So, without these things, a transcription starts site, transcription stop site. A translation starts site, translation stop site. And without this, your transcription cannot begin. The, uh, the transcription process has to be initiated. It is at this place, the DNA polymerase will attach itself and transcription start will take place. So, transcription start will only take place if there is inducible promoter present in it. So, this is the point that there should be inducible promoter. Naturally, if I am talking about inducible promoter where the uh, RNA polymerase will bind and transcription will begin, naturally I am talking about transcription start, transcription stop, here it is start and here it is stop. And naturally, translation start and translation stop. Once mRNA is transcribed, it has to be bound to the ribosome. The ribosome one means binding also. There also 
we can talk about that 16S R RNA subunit where it will bind. So that is the shine diagram sequence one by one I will give you so that you can you are not getting confused. So inducible promoter where initiation of the process of transcription will take place where RNA polymerase will bind and after this one tag. N-terminal and C-terminal tags. These N-terminal and C-terminals are tags. Tags are nothing but short repeated sequences. You find these are there. Maybe a his tag or GST tag. Names are quite big. GST tag is quite small. You will be able to remember. But in case of GST, it's a big name. Glutathion, S transferase, quite a big name. These tags are actually attached. Why? Why the tags are attached? Suppose, uh, let me explain to you in a very easy manner. I have um, a mixture. Many, many iron filings are there. Some are big, some are small. And I want to take out first the particular type of iron filings. I will use a particular magnet. I will use another type of magnet which will fish out. A particular type of RN filing. So that mechanism I will introduce. In this case, there are lots of proteins which are synthesized. Now I want to fish out a particular protein, a specific protein. So I will be using N terminal, C terminal tag. Structure of protein, have a revision, then you will be able to recollect your memory if you have forgotten N terminal and C terminal. So go for a quick revision on the structure of protein that you have studied in your earlier classes. N terminal tag, C terminal tag, here GST tag, his tag, these tags are used so that you can take out, you can fish out, you can pick out particular protein, specific protein because you do not want all. So this is the basic idea about tags. So we had talked about origin of replication, restriction enzyme endonucleus, selectable marker in our cloning vectors, in our expression vector. Along with these three requirements, what we talked about is inducible marker promoter region where transcription start will take place and tags. Now localization of protein. Protein, a specific protein will be localized. So how can you do? You can use a fluorescent marker. Nowadays, selectable marker, there are some special fluorescent markers which will give a specific color and that can denote that protein. So, localization of protein can take place so within our cloning vectors in our expression vector. Along with these three requirements, what we talked about is inducible marker promoter region where transcription start will take place and tags. Now, localization of protein. Protein, a specific protein will be localized. So, how can you do? You can use a fluorescent marker. Nowadays, selectable marker, there are some special fluorescent markers which will give a specific color and that can denote that protein. So, localization of protein can take place with the help of. Let me put it somewhere here in terminal or C terminal, a tag is used over here. And this tag, as I have said, will have a repeated short sequence which will fish out a specific protein. Transcription, initiation, site that is reducible promoter is introduced so that expression of gene can also be controlled. Transcription can start. But if it is the case of any bacteria, what will happen? In case of bacteria, lack of error. Because the lack promoter will be helpful in this case. Why? If lack promoter is, we know by default it will be off, switched off. Lack of error, lack of error will be off, promoter is off. So you can induce the and what the initiation process can be induced by using allolactose or a synthetic variant of allolactose. You can introduce it. Otherwise, in mammalian cells, it is the teton titoff system that is introduced. Rules of information one by one, inducible promoter, we know. Transcription start will take place. We, are, we have talked about the tags and we have also talked about lac operon. That in case of bacteria, lac operon can be used. The benefit of using lac operon that we can induce by using allolactose because by default it will be switched off only. Otherwise, in mammalian cell, tetron tetoxystin is also there. 
So, this is now we have clear another very important point that is a shine galgano sequence. In expression vector, there is a very important factor that is the shine galgano sequence. What is this? Shine galgano sequence is that place where the ribosomal bind. See, once the transcription is initiated mRNA is produced, ribosomes must attach to it. So that ribosomal binding site is this place, shine galgano sequence. As this sequence, shine galgano sequence is providing, it is providing that sequence by which the ribosomal binding can take place, that is 16S RNA ribosomal binding subunit. So you can well understand how much it is important in case of vectors, expression vectors that shine the algorithm sequence has a very big importance. And the very last point, finally last to be understood in case of expression vectors, the properties which are covering means we have covered transcription, if it has started, it has to stop also. So transcription where it has to stop, we know earlier, we have studied in cannot in genes, there are, there is a place where polyadenylation will take place. Because if there is no transcription stop sequence, then what will be the result? Say there is no polyadenylation taking place. What is the result? mRNA which is produced will be degraded, it will be unstable. So we want that mRNA to be secured that has been transcribed. So we need that place where polyadenylation will take place. So polyadenylation must take place because mRNA which is transcribed is very, uh, without this polyadenylation it will be very much unstable. So expression vectors Finally, we have come to this point that yes, in expression vectors, we need origin of replication, multiple cloning sites, selectable marker region carrying the antibiotic resistance gene or a LAC Z gene uh, encoding beta galactosidase along with an extra missionary mode, one inducible uh, promoter, transcription start, stop, translation start, stop, and N terminal, C terminal tags to be attached so that we can fish out the particular protein and shine diagram sequence, which is 16 means which will help us in having that ribosomal bond binding that is 16S RRNA subunit ribosomal binding will take place and lastly for that polyadenylation, which will help us to make our mRNA that is transcribed very secure. So with this I will finish off because there is a continuation of this lesson expression vector. As we know the basics, we can do it very easily. That is PBR322 strain. Just a quick thing because this is the basic idea. After this it's going to be very simple for you. In this way that for cloning vectors, some names you should know, examples. That is plasmids, bacterial plasmids are very common uh, vectors. But remember their size is also very small and they are unable to carry large stretch of genes and uh, this is a problem because uh, if the target gene is having a longer stretch of sequence then it will not be able to, this plasmid will not be able to carry the target gene. So this is a concern that its smaller size can be beneficial at the same time can be a disadvantageous matter though it is a very common plasma, bacterial plasma I am talking about is very common vector in case of cloning and then comes cosmid. This is nothing but a plasmid having the cos site. The cos site is actually when the palindromic sequence is cut in a particular manner, in a specific manner, then we get this cos site that is cosmid. Otherwise bacteriophage, lambda page, we have it. This is also a kind of cloning vector.
which is see these two are able to carry small small sequence of our target gene this can be taken as medium size but for large strep genes i always write this name is we always know this one is a bacterial artificial uh, chromosome and other is yeast artificial chromosome these are able to carry the largest stretches of gene as, as far as human genome is concerned it is a very large stretch of gene and it's very much and means it's a tedious job for the vector to carry that large stretch of gene so in the next video i will continue from here that that pbr 322 that plasmid that expression vector now we know the basics of it so it's going to be very simple studying that pbr 322 so we will go for it there's a restriction enzymes first we have a quick revision on my earlier videos what i have covered restriction with enzymes and then vectors and then that lesson the pbr is absolutely it's nothing over there as long as you know the requirements the properties of vectors i hope you like staying with me and studying with me means uh, studying from me and by me so i hope you are going to enjoy uh, learning